Hello and welcome to the Gaming Circus. Today we are talking about the new expansion from Star Wars Legion, the ATST Walker expansion. This uh, new expansion is uh, from uh, the studios of Atomic Mass Games and they have redone the original ATST expansion to include a few more goodies. On the box you can see a lovely uh, painted version of the model. You then have this lovely artwork on the side. You have this lovely uh, picture of Chewie in the ATST. And then you can see on the back that you now get General Vice and the Chewbacca in the ATST, as well as the weapon upgrades. This box includes one plastic miniature, two unit cards, six upgrade cards, and one token sheet, and one insert sheet. This is for the Imperial faction and the mercenary factions. So it's likely that you won't be able to play Chewie in a normal Rebel Force in an ATST, but you can play him in the ATST at the Bright Tree Village. So let's have a closer look at what you get in the box. So we'll start off with the insert sheet, and you get this lovely poster of Chewie sticking out the top of the ATST. <laughs> which on the back you have the lovely QR code, which will give you the instructions for the ATST. And then you've got your usual join the community part for Star Wars Legion. But we'll keep it that way up because that's just pretty with having a Wookiee. And then we'll take a quick look at the tokens that you get. So you get the order token for the rebels and the order token for the imperials and you can see that it's the heavy option on both of those some damage tokens vehicle damage icons and the incognito the unit cards that come in this one is both for Chewy and the ATST. So we'll take a quick look at those. Let's get that to focus for you guys. So the regular ATST is 195 points according to the card. It's fully armored, Arsenal 2, weak points, one in the rear. And it's got 11 health, eight damage it can take before it's damaged. It surges to defend and it moves to speed two. It's got fence cutting blades in close combat for four red dice and has the twin blaster cannons for two red, two black and two white, which is fixed front and impact three. Do you also have a pilot upgrade and a couple of extra um, sort of weapon upgrades here and then you have the comms upgrade on the side there and then you have Chewbacca let the Wookiee win so you've got armor and arsenal 2 inspire 3 incognito and weak point rear you have 11 hit points on this one 8 till it's wounded again you have surge to crit and Surge to defend, you have the grenade launcher, which is in combat and up to range 2, which is 2 black dice, the 88 twin light blaster, which is in combat up to range 3, 1 red, 1 black, 1 white, with impact 1, and then you have the MS4 twin blaster cannons, like the original with this two red, two black, two white, fixed front and impact three. So I think both of them are going to be a nasty unit to go up against. I already know how bad the ATST is currently. 
I think the Chewbacca is going to be a fun uh, thing to have for your um, Bright Tree Village and Rebels to have an option of turning it back on the Empire. Next we'll look at the upgrades you get in the box. So you get a copy of Comms Jammer. Enemy units at range 1 cannot be issued orders unless they are issuing an order to themselves. You have a copy of Long Range Comlink. During the command phase, you can uh, be issued orders by friendly uh, trooper or operative units, regardless of range. You have the 88 Twin uh, Light Blaster Cannon, which is range 1 to 3, a red and a black and a white, fixed front and impact 1. You have the ATST Mortar Launcher. Which is range 4 to infinite. Whew. Fixed front and is suppressive with three white dice being fired at you. Vice. Vice. In his ground vehicle, he gives you field commander and arsenal 2. So while attacking, each miniature in this unit can use up to two of its weapons. So stacking that on top of your original Arsenal 2 takes you to Arsenal 4, which is really nice for the ATST, being able to fire all its weapons all the time. You also get a base with the model. They have included these really nice fancy space bases. I quite like it, but I know that there's a lot of people out there who like modifying and designing their own base. So... No, just for you guys out there, you may want to get a second base for which is plain if you like doing your own terrain and textures or that. And then we'll take a look at the miniature itself. So we have the body piece of the kit. So this is a nice chunky kit to be fair, really nicely detailed, with all the hatches and things. You've got a little cupola bit for your commander to stand in, and then that was the main body, and then you've got the legs with all of its different joints and movement pieces. So it looks like you're going to be able to configure the legs into a position that is preferable to your uh, how you want to model the, the ATST. And then you've got this one with some of the actual weapons on it, as well as the bottom piece of the main body of the ATST, where it connects to the legs. But yeah, look at that riveting and things. It's really nice, the detail that they've picked out on this one. And the last piece that you get is the feet and the armour plates. And then you also get now um, General Vice with his binoculars. And he can be slotted into the top. And you also get Chewie. So uh, Chewie's there celebrating it out of the top of the ATST, which is going to be a lot of fun for a lot of us to paint. So it'll be great to have that model as well on the table. So that is everything that you get in the ATST expansion. Let us know what you think down below. And uh, if you've really enjoyed this one and are looking forward to getting, uh, getting it, you can get it from our web store at www.thegamingcircus.co.uk where we have a large variety of Star Wars Legion products. We hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll be doing more unboxings in the future. We look forward to seeing you in the next one, so don't forget to like and subscribe to know when we've put our next one up. Have a lovely day everyone and take care. See you in the next one. Bye! Bye.